Hey, what's up guys? So uh, come on in, come on in. So a lot of people have been wanting me to do a day in the life and that's what you're gonna see. A day in the life in lockdown. First, I don't have much to do at the moment, which is obviously stuck at the house. So why don't we uh, go see what's on the news, huh? To join me for the news today, I brought my friend Natalie. Natalie and I have been locked up this whole time together and she's become really a backbone and a strength for my mental stability and my total well-being. So we're going to watch the news together today. Let's see what we got on. Hi, this is Guy Randomson from Channel 5 News. We're going to bring you up-to-date information about our opinions, about other people's opinions, about what they think is going on. Stay tuned because your life might be at risk. Tonight, our top story, coronavirus. Is it going to kill us all? What's a box like you doing in a place like this, huh? Well, I stopped going to Karen's tickle parties long before the coronavirus. Why are you always nagging me? I'm just trying to watch the news. Can't I be in lockdown in peace? Oh, okay. Hello. We are getting a live update, people. Okay. You sure? Mm-hmm. All right. People are coming to molest you in the streets! <laughs> Perhaps I'll ease my mind with a little music. We've got a special treat for you guys today. Everyone in COVID lockdown is going to be entertained. And first up, on the drums, Tommy! <laughs> and next, on the didgeridoo, you know him, you love him, Billy! Well, first of all, I'd like to dedicate this song to all the teachers that told me I'd never amount to nothing. To all the people who lived above the buildings where I was hustling from trying to make some money to feed my daughter. Boo! Start the show! All right, all right. You guys ready? Ha! I try to say goodbye and I Show. <coughs> ah! The mind begins to weaken upon the stress of imminent doom. Mr. Jones, what are you doing? Ooh, Sally's got a new visitor. Why would anybody need extra thick curtains? Maybe a little game will take my mind off of everything. Some might. They're already out of bullets at the gun store. Man, you got a whole closet full of bullets. <laughs> Man, you keep talking like that, you're not going to be invited to the bunker when it all falls down, brother. Man, what you think? You think people just gonna come in here and be stealing all your toilet paper or something? That don't sound like the red, white, and blue spirit, boy. Man, you are so dumb. You're so dumb, I have to call myself dumb just for it to even phase you. We're dumb. <sighs> Why you always have to ruin everything? Man, you ignorant. No school! <laughs> Man, what the hell was that? A rumbly tummy rings the dinner bell. So luckily, 
with everything going on, we still have grocery stores, we still have food service and all that. So I'm gonna order some food and uh, stay home and stay safe. All right, and ordered. Should be about 30, 40 minutes, so you know, just kill some time and wait. Whoa, 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 whoa! You ordered food, man! Food! Oh, right, right, right. Uh, thank you! That guy's got issues. Guess it's just the lunatics working today. Mm. That was good. Well, oh. Oof. I'm gonna be back in a minute, guys. I don't think that delivery guy washed his hands. Sorry. You know I'm upset the NBA was canceled. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sharon. I'm just so afraid right now. Toilet paper is five dollars a roll now. Wish I would have known that when I was dating a janitor. Is there Lysol in this cup? Wash your damn hands!